Hey guys, welcome back. We got a clean and cook today. We've got a squirrel, as you can tell. And this is the first time I've ever done this method. Uh, I saw it on Meat Eater. It's called the tail method. I think that's what they call it. Anyway, um, as you can tell, we just cut right here by the tail. Just make sure you get all the way through that bone and then just put it on a hard surface, like a flat rock or a block. Stand on the tail and then grab the back legs and pull up. And when you get the skin kind of inside out to what would be the armpits of the squirrel, I guess, uh, grab the skin that's on the legs and pull them up and then just start cutting the joints and everything should come off all nice and neat. And then all you've got left to do is just um, make a slit from the belly up to the chest and pull out everything that's on the inside. And then we just need to rinse this really good. And then I wasn't cooking it that day, so I soaked mine in just a little bit of salt water uh, overnight. Now I've just got this, I've rinsed it off so it's not super salty. Put it in a crock pot with a little bit of salt and pepper and garlic powder. And I cooked it on low for about nine hours with maybe a cup or so of chicken broth in the pot with it. Normally when I was making chicken and dumplings or squirrel and dumplings, I would use a cream of chicken, can of cream of chicken soup, and uh, that's perfectly fine if that's what you want to do, but I thought I'd get a little bit fancy, and so I make a uh, chicken stock gravy right here, and it's pretty easy. It's just equal parts butter and flour. You cook that until the flour is just fully cooked and incorporated, and then you just start slowly adding your chicken broth to this, and it will thicken as it cooks. While the gravy kind of just sits and simmers and gets a little bit thicker on the skillet, I'm just taking the meat off the bones of the squirrel here and just going through really good and making sure there isn't any shot that's left in it from uh, shooting the animal. And then also just tearing the meat up in smaller pieces so that they're easier to eat in the dumplings. Okay, and now I'm just adding the gravy to the broth that was left in the pot from cooking the squirrel and just mixing that up and putting the meat back in on top of that. For my dumplings, I'm just cutting my biscuit recipe in half. I've got a cup of self-rising flour here, a third of a stick of melted butter, and a third of a cup of milk. And I'm just combining all this till it comes together. It's not really tacky on the outside. And then I roll it out really thin, 
fold it just a little bit and then roll it some more. And then I just use a pizza cutter here and cut it into like one inch um, squares. And it's probably an eighth of an inch thick, the whole dough. And so I've got one inch squares of eighth inch thick dough that I just throw back in the pot. And then it's going to need to cook on high for two or three hours at least. I actually cook mine for four hours um, and that's it's perfectly fine to cook it a little bit longer. But um, everything came out great and uh, yeah, if you've got a squirrel or two and you want to try this or you don't and you have some chicken, you can do the same thing. But highly recommend it. It's very tasty and it's a great way to eat squirrel. Thanks for watching.